What's up guys, I'm Uriel Soto. Now in this video, we're gonna be going over my top five WooCommerce plugins that I use on my websites and also on my clients' websites. So this is gonna be a pretty short video, um, just giving you guys my recommendations and just showing you guys what I think you guys should be using on your WooCommerce websites. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Now I hope you guys enjoy. So let's begin. So the first one that I'm gonna go over here is called Wiremo, and this one is a product review for WooCommerce, and it's definitely something that you wanna have on your products, just because it's gonna give you that trust and that credibility. So you wanna make sure that you have reviews on your products, so um, it is a great option to use. Um, let me just go over some of the product images here of this plugin. And when I say product, I mean like their, uh, their digital product. So as you can tell, it does give a nice interface. So it is something that you should definitely use. So the next plugin that we're gonna be going over here is Direct Checkout at Takar, and it has a bunch of names, but basically it's made by uh, PI Web Solutions, and it's pretty much a buy now um, direct checkout um, functionality. So let's say you wanna add a buy now button to your uh, product, you can go ahead and do that. Um, I actually do have a video on this on my channel. I'll try to link it next to the plugin link. So you guys can go ahead and learn how to use this plugin. So I'm not gonna go over it too much. Like I said, I'm just gonna go over some of the pictures here that you can see, they're just mainly the settings, but um, here is pretty much how it would look. Obviously, I actually show you how to customize it in, um, in the video tutorial that I have on this. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Now the next one we're gonna be going over is WooLenter. I've done a video on this. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have probably found my channel because of this um, video that I made. And it was basically about a product slider and it's from WooLenter and this, Product slider is probably one of the best that I've ever seen. Um, so if you guys have not tried this plugin out, I would definitely recommend that you do. It is a great plugin. And as you can tell, it's very clean and the functionality is great. They do have a pro version, which I'm gonna look into further. Um, I'll link the video next to the plugin as well. So you guys can check out the tutorial. So the next one is Caddy Smart Sidecart for WooCommerce. Now I have done a video on this. This is a great sidecar plugin. It's probably one of the best out there. It gives you a lot of functionality. Um, it gives you an option for upsells and it looks super clean. And I just really recommend this plugin overall. And it has this cool feature where basically it tells you if you order a certain amount more, you can get free shipping. And then once you reach the entire um, the entire progress bar, you can get free shipping. It's a really cool option. I have done a video on this, so I'll go ahead and link it with the plugin so you guys can check that out, but I definitely recommend you at least try it out. So the last plugin that we have on the list here is WooCommerce Cart Abandonment Recovery by Cartflows, which is owned by WP Crafter. So shout out to the team and shout out to WP Crafter. He does come out with some great content. Um, so this is pretty much as follows. So whenever someone abandons your checkout, let's say they fill out the information on the checkout or, or the cart page, um, and then they leave and they forget, right? This actually sends up reminders to go back to the website and um, complete their order. So it's definitely a very useful plugin to use and it's something that I definitely recommend. Now that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys do have any questions on any of these plugins that I went over, please comment down below and I'll definitely try to help you guys out. So if you did end up enjoying the video, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Now, as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next